a pro one of the provinces in our country, uh, Flevoland, is made in entirely of um, of land that used to be underwater, okay. and they use the windmills to drain the water from the land, and in the end, that kind of shaped an entire new province. The younger generations no longer are aware that things can go awry. Uh, my parents lived through the uh, big flood of 1953 which was a flood that uh, inundated uh, a large part of the southern Netherlands and it really was a disaster. I'll show you some pictures but you can also google it. 1953, a big flood. And uh, so for me it's some, something that's, that's close to my mind because we used to go and look at sluices. My, my father was a little bit of a, uh, a water geek. And uh, so we went to look at sluices and we went to look at windmills uh, that transported water and uh, uh, my father explained the whole thing about making a polder, which is uh, making dry land out of a line land. So uh, I'm not an expert, but somehow it, uh, it, uh, it's in my memory that we live below sea level, but a lot of the younger generations do, not l do no longer have that connection to what these dikes are doing, what these sluices are doing, and why you know, it's so important to, to have all of these barriers in the river. And uh, so uh, it, they take it a little bit for granted.